You know, whenever people ask me why in 2025, I still talk so much about cameras, gear leaks, and especially Nikon rumors, I usually smile and say, because the next big revolution is already taking shape. And right now, it looks like Nikon insiders just let slip something massive. So as he, ultimate flagship successor is reportedly on the horizon. The Nikon Z9 II, a professional level, mirrorless beast rumored to pack a hybrid global shutter. Blistering burst speeds, next generation autofocus, red cinema color science, and even AI powered subject tracking unlike anything we've seen before. And stick around until the end of this breakdown. Because I'll share an Olympics connection that strongly suggests this camera is already being secretly tested in the wild. So let's dive deep into everything we know, all the leaks, all the speculation, and why the Z92 could easily become the most important camera launch of 2026. To understand why the Nikon Z92 matters so much, we need to rewind a little. Back in 2021, Nikon shocked the photography world with the Z9. It was their first mirrorless flagship to completely eliminate the mechanical shutter, something that at the time felt impossible. Professionals in sports, wildlife, and even cinema workflows adopted it almost overnight. The Z9 didn't just compete. It redefined expectations for what mirrorless technology could achieve. But four years later, the camera landscape looks very different. Canon is hyping its long-anticipated EOS R1, promising unprecedented autofocus and lightning-fast performance. Sony continues to push the envelope with its Alpha One Mark II, leaning on its sensor dominance and advanced AI systems, and Fujifilm Panasonic. Even OM system are tightening their grip on niche markets. Nikon knows it cannot sit still, which is why Tokyo whispers are growing louder. The Z92 is real, and it's coming soon. The sensor rumor that could change everything. The Z92's rumored sensor might be the most revolutionary Nikon has ever attempted. Sources point to a 45.7 megapixel stacked full frame, CMOS sensor with a hybrid global shutter design, zero rolling shutter distortion, meaning no more warped verticals in fast pans or action scenes, no blackout whatsoever. The EVF stays perfectly live, even during blazing burst shooting, cinema grade readout speeds, the kind that Hollywood directors would drool over. For photographers, that means no more ruined frames during high-speed action. For filmmakers, it means you can finally get the benefits of global shutter power without sacrificing image quality. Even more exciting? Rumors suggest Nikon is partnering with a semiconductor company outside of Sony's supply chain. If true, this would give them a technological edge, possibly leapfrogging their biggest rival in sensor innovation. Early whispers claim 14-bit raw files at readout speeds that almost sound impossible. Imagine capturing motion with the clarity and precision that feels like science fiction. Blazing speed. 120 FPS raw bursts now. Let's talk speed, because this is where the Z92 could truly set itself apart. Leaked prototype data suggests the Z92 might shoot 120 frames per second in full raw, with pre-capture technology that records moments even before you press the shutter button. Think about that for a second. You could literally catch the decisive moment three seconds before you realized it happened. This isn't just incremental improvement. It's a complete rethink of what burst mode even means. Buffer depth is rumored to hold over. 1,000 raw files in a single burst. That's almost 10. Seconds of continuous shooting at 120 FPS sports. Testers allegedly called it witchcraft, one. Early prototype user claimed they shot an entire 100 meter. Olympic sprint in full raw without missing a single frame. If true, Nikon would leapfrog Canon and Sony in the speed wars by a margin no one thought possible. The video monster, red cinema in a Nikon body, but it doesn't stop with stills. The Z92 is shaping up to be Nikon's most cinematic camera ever. Here's what insiders say we can expect. K60P raw video internally. No crop, up to 12-bit recording, red codec integration. Thanks to Nikon's acquisition of Red Digital Cinema in 2023.4K, up to 120 FPS with full sensor readout dot, built-in professional tools like false color, vector scopes, waveforms, and 32-bit float audio. Essentially, Nikon may have just built the first true hybrid cinema camera in a mirrorless body. Imagine filming Olympic gymnastics in Red Raw straight from a Nikon mirrorless camera, with data rates rumored to hit 2,000 MBPs internally. That's cinema-grade power in a package weighing less than half a typical red rig. And here's the kicker. 
Nikon is expected to include RED's famous color science directly in camera. Filmmakers could finally achieve that legendary cinematic RED look without external recorders or complex grading workflows. If true, this isn't just a photography tool. It's a revolution for indie filmmakers, sports broadcasters, and even Hollywood studios looking for lightweight solutions. Next generation autofocus and AI own of the most exciting rumors around the Z92 is its AI-powered subject detection. We're not just talking about face and eye tracking anymore. The autofocus system allegedly features 921 phase detect points, covering 96% of the frame. It will recognize athletes by jersey numbers, animals by species, and even vehicles by type. Advanced AI will reportedly predict movement patterns before they happen. Approximate weight, 1,140 grams, lighter than the Z9 despite packing more features. Two inch. Fully articulating forum dot touchscreen. Versatile for both vlogging and professional. Video 9.4M dot EVF at 120 Hertz. Refresh for a near optical experience. Dual. CF Express type B slot supporting Red's ultra high data rates dot Ethernet, Wi-Fi 6E, and experimental 5G for instant file transfer. New NEL18D battery charging to 80% in 30 minutes with up to six hours of continuous 8K recording. This isn't just about performance, it's about reliability in the harshest conditions. From the Arctic to the Sahara, Nikon wants the Z92 to be the camera you can trust anywhere. Pricing and availability, will it sell out instantly? The Nikon Z9 launched at 5499. Early predictions put the Z92 at around 6499.99 body only. But here's where things get tricky. With the 2026 Paris Olympics looming, supply could be extremely limited. Some insiders warn prices could spike to $7,500 or more on the resale, market in the first few months. Camera. Retailers are already whispering that pre-order demand might exceed five times the initial allocation. If you're serious about getting one, you may need to join a waiting list the moment Nikon opens reservations. Release date. When will we see it? Nikon tends to follow a four-year flagship cycle. The Z9 arrived in late 2021. That means a late 2025 announcement for the Z9 II makes perfect sense. Multiple insiders predict a Tokyo event in October or November. 2025? With full release in early 2026, just in time for the Olympics. That timing isn't a coincidence. Nikon has always leveraged major global sports events to showcase its flagship gear, and Paris 2026 could be their boldest stage yet. Why the Z92 could be a true revolution at this point? You might be wondering, is all this hype real or just another rumor cycle? Here's the thing, the Nikon Z92 isn't being described as an incremental update. Industry insiders are calling it a fundamental shift in professional imaging. For sports photographers, 120 FPS raw bursts mean you'll never miss a decisive moment again. For wildlife shooters, AI prediction and global shutter eliminate motion blur and warping. For cinematographers, RED integration turns a Nikon mirrorless into a legit cinema tool. For wedding and event photographers, 8K RAW gives you future-proof content for decades. The Z92 could very well become the camera that unites photo and video professionals in a single system. The Olympics connection, secret testing in the wild, and here's the final insider whisper that makes all of this even more exciting. Several sources claim prototype. Nikon Z92 units are already in the hands of three Olympic photographers, quietly testing them ahead of the Paris Games. If true, that means we could see Z92 sample images or even full broadcast footage long before the official announcement. Imagine the headlines if Nikon debuts the Z92 on the world's biggest sporting stage. It would be the boldest marketing move Nikon has made in decades. Final thoughts, the Nikon Z92 isn't just a rumor anymore. It's shaping up to be a defining moment for mirrorless technology. From global shutter breakthroughs to red cinema workflows, from AI-driven autofocus to 120 FPS raw bursts, this camera could shift the entire professional photography market. Canon and Sony won't stand still, of course. Their R1 and Alpha 1 II will fight hard, but Nikon has a real chance here to seize the flagship crown. So here's my question to you. Would you upgrade to the Nikon Z9 II on launch day? Drop your answer in the comments because the conversation around this camera is just beginning. And if you want every Nikon leak, every insider update, and the fastest pre-order alerts, 
make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Because trust me, you don't want to miss what's coming next.